is making his mark on the global stage with his cutting edge innovation called the Padoka Charger. The device has been entered into a tech competition taking place next week in Morocco. VOA's Paul Ndiho has more. Humility is what describes a 24-year-old Mixon Falwaki, who is pursuing a degree in education science and majoring in physics. He is part of a new breed of young African innovators that are trying to change Africa's image. On campus, he's just a regular student. In fact, very few students know about his innovation that is creating a buzz on the international scene. Falwaki has been named one of the finalists, competing in this year's Global Innovations Through Science and Technology, or GIST Tech 2014 Awards in Morocco. Padogo Charger is uh, an innovation uh, which is uh, enabling those people living in rural areas of Malawi in the other neighboring countries to use the, their bicycle, uh, which they use for transport, to also use it for charging their mobile phones and the powering other um, uh, devices such as a radio and also a torch. Falwaki is part of a talented group of students that have been tasked to find a homegrown solution to some of the problems Malawians are facing. He says that thinking outside of the box is what drove him to be creative. I had to think of a project that I could uh, come up with, and that project should solve uh, problems that are faced by Malawians. So, in my mind, just came the, the issue of uh, a charger that could be used for charging mobile phones, but that charger should not uh, call for the electricity that, we have, uh, many, that many people in Malawi do not have access to. So that's when I, I thought of coming up with the, uh, the Apadogo charger. Among his peers, he is well respected and he has become an inspiration to many of them. He explained how his innovation works. This Padogo charger is using a bicycle dynamo. Uh, when one is riding the bicycle, when, as the wheel rotates, it also rotates the wheel for the uh, dynamo, the generator. And then that power is uh, fed into the charger, the, uh, the charger which I, I designed. And then the whole process of uh, the electrification, regulation, and the, uh, all the other processes to make sure that the power is usable for charging mobile phone occur at this stage. This is the output, the power comes out, then it goes to your mobile phone and the, that's how your mobile phone will be charging. In places like Zomba, Malawi, where very few have access to electricity or solar power, inventing a low-cost battery or phone charger mounted on a bicycle that people can use to charge their phones has been a long time coming. In Malawi, uh, most, of people will, uh, most of us rely on bicycle transport simply because it is cheap. And the, we do have so many people running this business of bicycle taxi. Like this, the, the, the bicycle we are using now is meant for bus, bicycle taxi service. Yeah, so these people, they uh, don't have, most of them they don't have access to home electricity. So they, they are, they'll be using this product for charging their mobile phones. Despite some challenges, the young entrepreneur is focused on perfecting his innovation ahead of the competition. The event organizer, the American Association for the Advancement of Science, says Mixon Falwaki's innovation was selected alongside other 65 innovations from a total of 502 worldwide. However, Falwaki is yet to earn any money from his innovation. Once we have the funds for mass production, the product will build the market and people will access it. Tech analysts in Africa say Mixon Falwaki's achievement is great but it will take him years to release the product on the market. But they say his product has the potential to change the image of Malawi. Reporting for VOA News, Paul Ndiho, University of Malawi, Chancellor College.